Hey guys, today I'm getting together with Burgess Shucker. You haven't seen him for a while on this uh, channel just simply because his schedule and my schedule do not mesh very well. But today we're going to get together again. You might remember the last time we got together, uh, we found a demonic house. Yeah, it was. And we found a sacrificial cow in the barn in the back. Head chopped off and it was mummified. Creepy, creepy stuff. Uh, all of that is gone now because this property is under development for housing. Well, all that's been plowed over, I guess, from what I understand. But the other side of the road, which is also part of the property, is still good to go. In fact, that's where we found most of the good stuff that day anyhow. So, him and I are going to meet up and hit out there before the developer gets a hold of that too. So, hopefully, everything goes well. Let's see. Here we go. Well, apparently, as in evil movies usually happen, uh, the evil is not destroyed by the end, it comes back. My understanding was this house and barn were all gone. The house is still here. Uh, and it looks like a huge tree fell between them. It looks like the barn is still there too. What a creepy old place. Well, hey, Burgess. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. How are you? Long time no see. No kidding. I'll see you. I'm good, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. You so, ready to do some hunting? Yeah, I am. Right over there. You can see. That's devastated over there. All that's cut down. Over there is where we hunted the first time. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, uh... Right there's the house. Now we we I tried to get some more shots in that house, and it was just too dark in there. We couldn't. Uh, <laughs> there's no way the camera's going to pick up on what I was trying to show you. So you'll just have to watch the last video. You could probably see it as good as there as anything. Yep. So. Yep. They call this progress. I'm not so sure. I hate yeah. Big trees go down, but it is what it is. We did find some very interesting stuff. 1800s. Uh, and two we buttons, know two buttons, a musket ball. Yeah. What else did we find? Don't remember. Down remember. there. I think we found some square nails. Square and, nails, that's it. Yep. Yeah. And that was about it that I know of. Yeah, the site behind us is better. So yeah. We'll so we're going to head that way. I know you'll never be able to see this, but there are turkey right there. It's like three, four, maybe? I see. Well, I see maybe four. I bet there are more, though. Mm hmm. We got a coin. It's our first coin of the day. Bird just had dug it up. I haven't even, I haven't even pulled it out of the dirt yet. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, Whoa, that I don't is, need silver. That's silver. I don't need to rub that anymore. No, that, that is, uh, I think that's a rose. That's, no, that's a mercury. That's a mercury. That's a mercury, buddy. Yep. That looked like a penny when it was so dirty when it came out of there. <laughs> Flip it. Go ahead. I gotta go ahead. You flip it. It well, yeah, it could be. I didn't think about that. Forty-one. Nineteen forty-one. Nineteen forty-one. You got it. Nineteen forty-one. Mercury dime. Now I to find out. There's a mint mark. It looks like there is a mint mark on it. Oh, you do? Let me see. Yeah. Yes. F. S. Oh, S. S. Yeah, S. <laughs> it's F. F at Martin. S. 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 So that's cool. This man's pulling silver dimes out of the ground. Yeah. Nice old ones. And I haven't found one in a while. I'm just finding things like 22 shells. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Burgess is pulling gold out of the ground. Yeah, I wish. So there's something still in the ground. I'm registering 55, 56, 60, back and forth. It's a nice solid tone. That's what just came up, and it doesn't even register on my machine. It won't even pick it up. Wow. So, it's there, there's something still here I can hear. There's 55, 52. So, we'll dig this if you want. Oh, I'm not even holding on camera. Actually, let me get a better camera. What is that? 
There's something on it right there. It's almost like a locket. Yeah, it looks like there's some initials or something on it. Yeah. Oh, there's initials on it? Yeah. Well, there it is. It's got the letter M on. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, if at best it's gold plated. Alright. Yeah, I broke the loop off. That's okay. <laughs> there are no other markings on it, front or back. There's the other side. There's nothing on that. It does have that M. Burgess. Mm -hmm. uh, he just, well, not a few months ago. How many months do you think it was? It was May of 21 when I entered the competition, and then I think that I got this a month and a half ago. Okay. Yep. Well, this is an Apex, and uh, it, it was, well, he just said it was one that he won. Yep. And if you want to tell a little bit about how that happened. So Garrett has the monthly um, competition for the best finds. So I submitted it on a whim and what it was was a woman's engagement ring she'd lost eight years prior. She was selling the house. She wanted one more try to find it in her backyard. Her dog ate it. So I went out there and hunted it and within about two hours I was able to locate it. And so I entered the competition, hadn't heard anything, didn't get any emails, phone calls or anything. So I was like, well, I guess I didn't win it, no big deal. So about a month ago I went back on the website, started looking at the past winners. I went, oh my gosh, my name. <laughs> so I contacted Garrett and they were great about it and they sent it right out to me. Awesome, awesome. Yep. That ring, you had to give it back, but uh, I mean, you got something in return for it all the same. Oh yeah, and this is a great detector so far. It's a great entry level detector from what I can tell, especially with the multi-frequency. That's amazing. I really like it, Garrett. That's amazing. I Thanks hope it does product. good for you today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, we just had an adventure. We, we dug, yeah, we, we dug a nice deep hole. I don't know if you can tell, but we're in an old creek bed and all these rocks. See all these? We went right down through all of those rocks. That's probably a good maybe 18 inches. Mm -hmm. Just to find <laughs> a canning jar lid. <laughs> this was uh, both of us digging at it. it sounded good. It sounded uh, really good. I might keep that a porcelain. This in one piece. That's in pretty nice shape. Gotta get something out of all that effort. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Well, I found something interesting. I mean, it's not a fantastic item or anything, but it's got some interest, and we've been standing here for the last five or more yeah. minutes trying to figure this yeah. out. Uh, it's a, the inside of a wristwatch. Or not the inside, it's the outside. The inside's went inside there. The back case almost. Yeah, uh, like the back case. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing is what's on the inside. This is what we got. There's nothing on the back. Just a little bit of silver wash. Right there is where the winder was, and you can see the ears where it went onto a band right there. But on the inside, it almost looks like somebody, um, Bird just kind of pointed this out to me. It's like a, that pin matrix uh, engraving type thing, like somebody engraved it. We can't make out what it says. But that's it right there. Uh, if anybody can make something out, it looks like something O L L O something S I R. I don't know. I'm leaving this on for a while just in case somebody knows what this is or can pick up on it. And if you know what this is, leave a message, leave a comment below, let us know. But that's it. It's a wristwatch, but it's got a little mystery on it. So, we like mysteries around here, don't we? No doubt. Yeah. I got some kind of cool. It's like a, like a cinching buckle, I think. So, let's check this out. Right here. Oh, I have found one of those. Found one, matter of fact, somewhere right around in there. Have you? Uh, and what is it now? What is it? Like? I don't know. I, I I don't know what the actual name is. I hit it. Because it's right. It, I call it a cinching uh, buckle. Cause okay. It reminded me of a, uh, this kind of buckle. You know, the one on the um, pair of overalls? overalls. Yeah. yeah well, kind of I mean, it very well could be. It very well could be. I, I don't know. <laughs> it might not be a buckle at all, but but it's very well made. It's brass. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It is brass. You can see right there where I hit it. It's very well made. I like that. I'm happy with that. Very cool. Good find. I like it. 
Well, you found something kind of cool. Something unique. Yeah. It's a button. It's like an overall button, but it's one of those that have a train on it. Let me put you on macro. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see. Oh, here. There. You can see the front of the engine there. You can see the smoke up there. And you can see the engine kind of long ways there. You see that? You can make that out? Those are always cool. I like finding the train ones. These always have some some interesting thing on, but those trains are really cool to me. Nice find. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do cool. like that. I found a couple buttons, but this is the first one with something on it like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Bird just brings a cool little find over. It's a tiny little comb. It is, oh, and I'm dropping it on the ground. It is aluminum, in fact. Right there, it even says it's aluminum. I don't know if you're picking up on that. It says aluminum right there. But it's got that fine tooth thing going on. It's either just a regular comb or a lice comb. Mm -hmm. uh, Bird just thought maybe it could have been like a mustache comb. It could be anything, but it's a comb. And it broke off at that end, so you can't see how long it was. That's a cool little yeah. aluminum. Totally interesting. I've never Fine. found anything like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. I just pulled something interesting out, kinda. It's gonna be in the junk pile, but I thought I'd let you guys see it. It's a cigarette tray, ashtray. Well, this one was a surface find, and it's not in very good shape, but uh, I thought it was interesting. Uh, check this out. See that? Stuck in all those vines. What are you wondering? What in the world is that? What was that? My first thought was like a flower strainer or something until I saw this part the spout. That's an old coffee. That's an old coffee pot. That would have been cool if it was a better shape. Very cool. It is raining, but I just found my first coin. I think it's a small cent. Uh, I don't know what kind, so let's check this out. Right there. We hope at best it's gonna be a weedy. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. That is not a weedy, that's an Indian. Hey, Burgess, I got me an Indian. Yeah, it is. How about that? Got me an Indian in the rain. All right, so let me clean this up a little bit, and uh, I guess I'll need a, <laughs> don't like using squirt bottles on these things anyhow, but I'm getting rained on. See if I can get a date for you. Well, there it is, guys. That is an 18, it is very hard to see that last number, but it's an 1887. Indian had a penny. And you can see it's getting rained on. You can barely make out the one sitting on the back. But uh, while I was trying to get a date off of that. Congratulations. Bird is here, dug a signal right beside me. Yeah. <laughs> and it turned yeah. out to be really a cool little thing. This is a, an old cartridge. Let me put you back on micro. Oh well, okay. I really have to get close. It's an old centerfire cartridge. But look at that, one, two, three times. They finally, I guess it worked on the third time. Third time was a charm because it's empty. So that, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, you dig these uh, fairly often. <laughs> but that's kind of cool. No maker's mark. There's no, no there's no maker's mark, mark on really it. Old, comparatively, so I think they were stamping them early on. That is cool, though. So there you go. Cool. I like that. Much. It's got it's got character. Yes, it really it does. does have it character. Really does. I love your penny, man. That's, <laughs> that, is awesome. that is awesome. And just minutes after uh, he pulled that cartridge out, he got this old pocket knife. Something written or some kind of stamping. It's some kind of decoration, isn't it? Yep. That's cool. I just pulled a. It's a square nail in pretty good condition. 
Uh, but what is interesting about where I found it, which is right there, is right here is a, is a chimney stack that had fallen over. So, square nail. I, I think uh, we pretty much know those were 1800s just on the 1800s side. I think uh, I think round nails uh, started taking over around the turn of the century. I'm probably wrong about that and you can correct me. But uh, here's an old chimney stack. No bricks there. It's all stone. We actually do have a topper right over there that's brick. We know this uh, house was used into the 1900s. So that's interesting. Oh, and that 1887 uh, penny I found was right over there, that Indian head. What do you think that is? All right, you got a couple things, don't you? Yeah, what is it? Spout of something or another? Yeah, I think that's probably from a, a tube, like Tubes toothpaste there, tube or shoot. something. Guess salt and pepper a... shaker. Yep, salt and pepper shaker. Let's Top. See. Well, we had fun. Oh yeah, no doubt. We had fun. We found a few nice things, and uh, we even got rained on a little bit. Yep. But right in the middle of that rain is uh, when we found something pretty cool. We found that that Indian head penny, and that uh, uh, wasn't going to give it up. Uh, <laughs> uh, center, uh, not center fire, but rim the fire rim cartridge. Fire, yep. Yeah. So yeah, it was not going to give it up. It took three tries to get that thing to fire, apparently. Right. The stories relics tell. Yes, very much so. Pretty cool. And this is multiple times we've hit this place, and it just keeps coming. There's yep. still stuff in the ground out here. And uh, I'm going to tell you, there's some uh, uh, cover, some uh, foliage. I'm looking at some right now that's covering uh, what seems to be kind of a hot spot. I think there's a lot of stuff right in a certain area here. So. Um, Maybe we'll be able to get back here before the developers oh, yeah. get in here. Come January, February, hopefully the stuff will all be off the trees and we can get in there a little deeper. Yeah, that'll be cool. Well, thanks right. for coming out. I well, appreciate it. Thanks for the invite. I, I appreciate you. that. We'll do it again. And uh, it's just a shame we can't get out here more often than that because very soon all this is going to be neighborhood. <laughs> Saving relics as we can. Yes, we are. And uh, we'll do it when we can, so. Had fun. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, we are almost to the road there. Uh, we're, we're calling it a day. I just dug something that's kind of interesting, but I have no idea what it is. I see a little hole there like it was hinged. I don't know. It almost looks like a smashed light bulb uh, base, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It does. But uh, Burgess, he just pulled himself out <laughs> another pocket another knife. Another pocket knife. Blade Number is, two. Blade was out and broken. Yeah, that's the second one. It's a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. It's got both its scales yet. It's got that little shield right there. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. Yeah. Total that's luck. cool. I always like digging those things. Yeah, total luck. That's kind of cool. It's a really iffy signal. Yeah. I'm dug it. Well, there you go, guys. That's our video. Uh, we found some cool stuff out there today. We didn't find as much stuff as we did last time we were out here, several months back. But we did pull some more stuff out and uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, what is upsetting is all that is going to be developed. So there's so much more back there. We know there is. And as far as this property goes, we haven't even seen a fraction of it, which is sad. So it's, it's going to get lost forever, pretty much. I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Until next time, we'll catch you later.